literally right there. Woo! Bitten Cobra. This is scaring me, like, seriously. Oh, did you see that? My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spitting Cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Wow, that is one beast of a granite boulder weathered over literally millions of years. It's perfect habitat for the species I'm looking for today. It's a spitting cobra. They love to live in the cracks between each of these boulders. And the mission is, we've seen them in Asia. We saw that one that came into the house. I really want to show you how the spitting cobra really does spray that venom at a potential attacker in particular in slow motion. It's the Western Barred Spitting Cobra that lives here, also known as the Zebra Cobra, as it has a black and white stripy appearance. It's one of 14 spitting cobras in the world. Half live in Africa and the other half live in Asia. And all these snakes are famous for being able to project their venom super accurately at the eyes of a predator from up to six feet away. And the venom has unique properties that can cause permanent blindness by eating into the eye. Really deep cave. I reckon at night there would be a lot of geckos around here. No luck in there, but the thing is with these crevices, if you look in amongst maybe another five, six, 100% there'll be something in there. This is just the perfect house, if not mansion, for a snake to be lurking around somewhere. Check this out, natural water pool. Oh, that's a really good sign. This would be fresh too. Now that's what the animals need. They'll be coming from miles and miles and miles around to drink this. So this is where I'm gonna focus my search. Just spotted a little tiny terrapin. It'd be cool to show you this one. Very tricky, and it could be tricky to get in. Okay. Oh, there he is. Woo! That is literally the tiniest terrapin I've ever seen. A little tiny marsh terrapin. Absolutely gorgeous. That shell is just perfectly formed, but tiny. The marsh terrapin is actually an ancient species. They've pretty much remained unchanged for 150 million years. So the formation of this, these rocks over 100 million years, so it could be that they've kind of evolved together among, in this area. And they've seen a lot of change of the climate over, the, over millions of years. And that is a baby beginning his life, his or her life. All right, let's release him back in his pond. Good luck, buddy. straight into the depths. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. There's a toad scaling this granite boulder. It's a particular toad species that only lives out here in these really dry, arid conditions. Awesome little find. And obviously, very well adapted for being able to just kind of just climb and, and scale these rocky boulders. Just like Alex Honnold scaling the face at Yosemite National Park. Amazing, free climbing. You wouldn't want to be this little frog doing that the whole way up there. Woo! What happens next is about to be the closest call I have ever had. This is extremely dangerous without a lot of experience. Please do not attempt to work closely with a venomous snake without professional support. Oh my crap! Holy! There's a spitting cobra in there. Whew. It's. 
My hand was like literally about four inches away from the mouth of a spitting cobra. Holy mackerel. Like I've actually got like goosebumps that just happened. Okay, so I've got my um, goggles. His head is literally right there. Oh wow. Now they are able to spit up to two meters straight into the face of the attacker, their venom. It's incredibly accurate. Now I'm going to try and carefully entice him out so we can get a good look of him. Oh wow. Woo! Okay. This is scaring me, like seriously. We want to get him into the open. You can see how they use these cracks as a way to hide. Oh, wow. Okay, that's his head. Okay, got him. Woo! Spinning cobra. I'm getting him into the open so you can see what this guy does. Wow. Okay. Woo! Yes! Our target species. Are you gonna come out this way? Woo! Wow! This is gorgeous. Look at the way this snake is back in. Look at this. Oh, do you see that? Oh, do you see that? Wow, yes. That's exactly what I wanted to show you. That spit, venom, has now just ended up on my glasses there. Really amazing, the accuracy of the spit of a spitting cobra. Wait, wait, wait. Absolutely amazing. Well, the first thing a snake wants to do is just flee and get away from potential danger. But the next defense mechanism is then for this snake, it's a spray venom up to two meters, really accurately, directly towards the eyes. And then last resort is to bite. But because this venom is designed in order to be sprayed into the eyes, it has a type of venom which actually eats away at the tissue, specifically our eye tissue, so it can get into the cornea and cause permanent blindness. But if it hits the skin, it's actually okay. It doesn't actually get into your bloodstream. But if you were to get bitten, just like any other venomous snake, they have fangs of which that venom injected into the bloodstream would be horrific. It's one of the most horrific types of venom because it's different to the other front fang, the lapid snakes. This one has cytotoxic and neurotoxic venom combined in a, in a cocktail. And so if you get bitten, there's a hemorrhaging and ne necrosis effect of which you could end up with literally your whole arm rotting away if you got bitten in that area. Um, oh geez, I don't even know if I've got some venom in my eyes because I'm actually starting to sweat. Do you got water? Okay, be careful, careful, careful. This venom I can now feel dripping down into my eyes, which is very serious. So I need a time out to wash my eyes out thoroughly. Doing this is the best first aid. Done quickly like this means that there will be no harm done. Wow, it's just amazing, isn't it? I love this. This is the moment I, I, I really enjoy being in the presence of an animal. When they're there, just facing you, completely free to go away, but he's facing me and just saying that I'm boss. That hood, classic hood of a cobra. He's just staying in that position, looking as tall and strong as possible. He looks fearsome. If you were any animal coming across, you would want to avoid this snake. And there are predators of the spitting cobra, particularly hawks and eagles, but not many would want to try and take one on because it really does have that quite formidable defense mechanism and it's getting ready to go again because you can feel the vibrations. Feels that from here. You know when they're about to spit. So I get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. They actually raise up a little bit and you can see he puts his head a little bit back and gets ready to go. There you go. Face to face with the Western Bard spitting cobra. What I'm gonna do is get my GoPro so you can see exactly what it feels like to be right here in my position.
Well, it's really an absolute pleasure to spend time with this snake. That really is quite an amazing experience, being face to face with one. And we say goodbye and say thank you to this snake for showing us just what he's made of. Woo! Happy hunting. Lovely. Ooh. There he goes. Yes. Western bard spitting cobra. Woo!